I don't care what you believe in. Doesn't matter. I'm not judging anybody. But let's say my thing is God. You get to heaven, I'm there as your parents, I sit down, and we're sitting down just like this. You're God and I'm David. And he gives me that chart. And he says, look at this. Now look at this chart, and on the chart it has all these different things that my names are. But these things aren't me. I was going to change the world. I was going to set records. I was going to be a Navy SEAL. I was going to be honored here, honored there. And I'm like, God, I was, this isn't me. Like it says, David Goggins, this is all these things. And God goes, no, oh, that's who you were supposed to. My biggest fear in life is that there is a final resting place in this world. And you talk to something much bigger than you. I don't want to sit down and have a conversation with someone that says, you're in heaven. This is what you should have done on earth. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you're thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on, man, who are they? When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them, man. Don't believe them. You got to be relentless. See, a lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. Well, guess what? There's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful in any area of their life until they had suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests. And if you have a dream and you commit to it, it will come to pass. Write down five reasons of why it is worth it for you to become a diamond, to experience that level of achievement. What is it that will give you the drive? What is it that will ignite the courage in you to get up and come back again and again and again? How is it that you would be able, what reasons that can tap in to that deep down feeling that goes to your gut, that no matter how many times you get knocked down, that you're coming back. Quitting guarantees the failure. Once you quit, it rules out any chance of succeeding. The mere waking up every day, putting the next foot in front of the next foot, at least keeps you in the game. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. Listen to me, this is I didn't do it first over six, seven years ago with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's all reality. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy or people tell you stupid or people tell you you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge.